In this little video, we're going to be looking at creating a book using Affinity Publisher version 2.5.5. This is not your standard book where you create a new file and uh, pour your text into it. We're going to create a book using the book's persona. Now, I like to call it a persona, although it's actually not a persona in the true sense. It's hidden over there in the windows. Now, you can turn it on. There it is there, books. But don't turn it on because it will confuse you to start with. Let's have a look at what it is. You can go up to File and create a new book a new document or a new book. Now the value of a book is that you can create individual chapters that go into the book. You can rearrange them, you can add to them, delete them and so on. But you can create your new chapters eventually from within the new book. Rather than create one long book full of chapters, you can create a project full of chapters that does behave like a compiled book in the end. So let's begin right off here by starting a new book. You can see nothing spectacular happens. All it does is put up Untitled 3. Well, I've done this two or three times already, so what it's doing is giving you that. Now we can go to the little sandwich here, which is your controlling option, and you can say Save Book As. That'll put a title in there. So let's do that to start with. Save Book As. Um, I'm not in, I don't want to be in that folder there. I want to be in Affinity Publisher. Let's call it um, Test. Three. That's good enough. Now it's got a name and we just save it. There it is. Test three. Now you think, what do I do with it? You go back to the little sandwich there and you open that. Now it'll say, hmm, add a chapter. Oh, so this is good. So I can just add a chapter there and type it in. Now this is the confusing part because what it does there is go straight to there and says, Whoops, load a chapter. Now there's some chapters, isn't that very handy, that I've already done. Hmm, let's see. So what are we supposed to do with that? Nothing, because you haven't started typing your book yet, really. So let's just cancel that. We'll go back to there. We'll go to there. We've got Untitled 2, Untitled. Just leave that one there while I'm nice and quiet for a moment. We can go to there. Hmm, what can we do? Nothing. How do we get a new book in here? Easy. Go up to, you've got, leave test three there. Go up to file and create new. Now I'm doing a six by nine standard size book for these, for this uh, course that I'm doing. Pages. Um, I'm going to create seven pages to start with. That's the way I like to do it. CMYK, margins, inner and outer, top and bottom, same as normal, bleed, same as normal. So let's just create that. There we go. We've now got a new document. Isn't that lovely? Page 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now, for this exercise, I don't want to put anything on here yet. So I'll save this file, save as... Now you can see I'm still in here, where I loaded this from eventually. We haven't got test 3 in there. Let's go back to Publisher. There's our test 3 book that we've created. Let's call this... Oh no, not chapter 1. Let's be sensible here. And call it introduction and save it still hasn't put it in the book document has it but it saved it as chapter one let's go to the sandwich and add a chapter 
Affinity Publisher Introduction. There it is. Now that's an AF pub file. We'll open that and it puts it in there. All seven pages. That's how you do it. Now, if you go to there to Introduction, it's open for edit. It's as simple as that. No need to double click on it. It is open for edit. You can edit it there quite happily. Do what you like with it. There's our two pages there. Let's reduce that in size a little bit. Using the navigator. And you can put your documents in there. You can put your cover pages. You can put frames and text and things in there. You might want to put another chapter in there. So you can add a chapter. No, not from there. Remember how you've, you've started this book. If you haven't got these chapters done already, then this is what you do. Go to File. Close that document. And it's got a little tick there, which means status. OK. File. New. Now, I've still got the same thing there because you want this consistent throughout the book. This doesn't mean you can have 16 different sizes throughout a book. It means you're collating a book the way you want it. So let's go and save as. We don't want introduction. We want chapter one. Save as chapter one. Oops. Chapter 1 already exists. Where am I trying to save this? Oh, Affinity Publisher. No, save it as Chapter 1. Replace the Chapter 1 that's already there. Go back here and add a chapter. There it is there, Chapter 1. And there's chapter one. The pages, seven pages, following on from there. Now we want to do the same thing. New, standard document, create, untitled, you can see. Now let's go up here, save as. You know, chapter one this time we want chapter two and there's chapter two now we put chapter two into our books project add a chapter chapter two and you can see the page numbers carry on now because the books program recognizes the document the pages the books document sorry that this is all in you can't just duplicate those pages and have 25 pages and then renumber them all because you'll end up with all of those numbers the same because it says oh this is part of the document and it's page 15 to 21. So if you put 25 of them down there, duplicates exactly the same, they'll all number 15 to 21, which will really mess up your collation at the end when you're trying to print it out. But there's trap chapter 2. Chapter 2. Chapter 1. And introduction. Double click on that and there's introduction. Double click on that. There's chapter one. Double click on that. There's chapter two. Now, you can go in there and do all sorts of things in there, can't you? Now, I don't want to go creating a book here, but you can have more than one book in there. So let's go and see if we can open a book. There's a book I created earlier, and that's got seven lessons in it. Famous Artist Course, Digital Version, Introduction, 
and so forth and so on. I can go in there and there's lesson seven. So on down to introduction. There it is there. Nothing in there yet, of course, because what I haven't done is done any of the work in there. So let's pause that there for a moment before we go any further. Let's go here. Save book. OK, that just makes sure. You notice there was a little message there that disappeared. Let's go. You see that? The M after that. That means that book is unsaved. So if you go back. Now you'll hear this save book. And the little M disappears. So just be careful of that. There's no M's there. But we can get rid of that by closing that book. Untitled. Close that book. Now we're left with Test 3 and the Famous Artist Course. That one's been saved. That one's been saved, which is what we want. There's 1 to 7, 8 to 14. Let's go to the introduction. Introduction. Now I'm working on the pages here. I'm not working on the master pages. Let's just put the, a um, text frame in there. I can add text in there if I want to. Now, of course, what you don't do is go straight off and start typing. You've got to set your font. Now, a good font for a book of any sort like this is one of the serif fonts. Baskerville. Now, Baskerville is a nice font. I've got a whole series of um, videos talking about fonts, but you can see that a serif font is much more readable. And you should set that up in your, in your um, styles. Let's just go back there so we don't accidentally do anything. Save book. Go to chapter one, nothing there. Go back to introduction, and there's my text. Close book, leaves that one open. But that's been saved, there's no brackets M just there. So we can close that book, and you're back there. Now, by selecting new book, it's also turned on the books option there. Now, if you don't want that panel just there, go to books and untick the panel. And there you are back there. Now, we've got all those open chapters I was messing with. Notice that they've all got an M after them. Introduction, chapter 2 and chapter 1. Let's close all those. Now they're all closed. Now we want to go back here and have a look at this again. Open recent. Well, we don't want to open the chapters, do we? We want to open the book. Now there's the book I was working on. And there it is there. Just opens it straight up again. Double click on it. There's our introduction. All ready to go again. Too easy. I think if you get going on this and have a look at that, you'll find that 
you'll very quickly master moving around a book. Okay, let's just close all that. Close all. Close book. I didn't make any changes, but it thinks I did. So we'll save them and it's gone. If you don't want that on there, go to Window, Untick Books. As soon as you select Book again or open a book, it'll come up there. No matter. I can open Recent and there it is. That's the one we're working on. Very nice.